Hey, how's it going? John from Branson Cerakote and Laser here. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Applicator Showdown. It's basically a competition we came up with to run a couple of people through our training course. And then at the end, they're going to kind of go head to head with a couple of Glocks. At the end, we're going to post pictures on YouTube and let everybody vote on who they think has the best project out of all of them. And the winner's going to get a oven from Light Armor, who is sponsoring the series. So let's get to it. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, I'm Mike Christia. I'm a gun enthusiast from Hollister, Missouri. I came down to Branson Cerakote for the Cerakote Showdown. Hello, I'm Chris from Paris, Texas. I own PTX Gunworks and Custom Cerakote. Uh, come up here for the Light Armor Oven Challenge, the Cerakote Showdown, to uh, to see what I can do, you know, and, and learn things that I don't know. I'm uh, I'm very blessed to be here. I'm super excited. I'm just ready to see how it goes. Thank you. All right, so we got episode three is going to be underway. We're going to go ahead and flip to see who gets to spin the wheel first for colors. We got Chris and Mike. Chris traveled the farthest, so we're going to have him call it. We got old Eisenhower's heads and the Liberty Bell is tails. So, Chris, go ahead and call it. Let's go heads. And it is heads. So come on up. You'll get a spin, and then we'll have Mike come in. He'll spin, and we'll go back and forth until you guys get all your colors. All right. Ready? Yep. Green, pretty good basic color. All right, Mike. Oh God, come on, guys! You okay. got to spin. No, yeah, no, you already. All right. <laughs> you didn't like that. There's blue. a spin. There you go. Ooh, you should have taken the blue. I don't want to be your partner anymore. <laughs> it was either white or purple. I Are we uh, writing these down. What did you get? Oh, oh got... hang on. I'll go write them down. Mike, what'd you get? I got, you got green. Oh my God. Uh, green for me, yes. Sorry. Chris. Chris. I don't Green know if I would have been too happy if I would have got All right, go ahead, Chris. All right. Gray. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah. Tan. Tan. Okay. You can make good with that. Well, that's not bad. Oh, red. red. Oh, it's got that one. Oh, purple. <laughs> <laughs> Three it, it like barely skipped over it. Blue. blue. White, tan, and blue. You can do something. That'd be slick. I, I already have some thoughts in mind for that. Total. One more. One more. White, tan, blue. Wow. Oh, you're getting tight. white. We're gonna run it. Tan. tan. Did you already get tan? Yeah. Yeah. So oh, I'm sorry, you get two tan. Tans. Okay. Okay. You, you can pick a couple of different ones. So, all right, we're gonna reset the wheel and come back for patterns. So, be back in a minute. All right. Since Chris went first on the colors, we're gonna might go first on the patterns. So. Did you go on there again? No, we left it off. Mini cam. Good. Mini cam. Good. 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 Yep. All right, Chris. Oh, I love that. Predator. There you go. Okay. You can make do with both. Both of those are good patterns for it. Mini cam predator. All right, now we're going to flip to see who gets uh, which coach. So, Jeremy, what do you want to be, heads or tails? Heads. All right, Mike, call it. Tails. He uh, tails. Yeah. So, there we go. So I got Mike? Yep. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. All right, yeah. we're going to get colors yeah. out, get those spinning, yeah. and uh, we're going to get going. Then I've got green. Whatever green you want. Once we get all these side by side, we may change it all up too, uh -huh. just to see how they flow. We got multi-cam bright green. What is the uh, gray too? Gray. It's for now. This might change. Battleship gray. Battleship gray and a red. And a red. Thinking more like a maybe like a dark crimson, something that's yeah. Those are looks like Christmas, man. Yeah. Those are a lot of like the Predator. You may want to go with a darker gray. 
and so it kind of has more definitely once I've been there at the bright, bright. I was at bright bright yeah um I mean it's pretty close to your crimson but this little brother yeah I'm kind of with the all or nothing thing you know what I mean there you go there's ruby red make it go or make it crazy <laughs> blood orange got a little sparkle in it that real uh glossy or they all kind of dry uh yeah it's just got a little bit of a uh, little bit of a like super fine glitter tint to it. Thinking on the Predator, maybe red. Predator's a real thick pattern. Mm hmm. So, all right. And that's the green you want? <laughs> Look at some options on it. We got uh, FS green. Just like that. I don't know. I want, to, I want them to really contrast, but I don't want them to be too loud. I'm sure. You know? Make the PM all in. Well, I got sniper gray, so let's go with the bazooka. 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 Yeah. Green. Instead of the sniper green, too. Alright. Why this pipe? Let's see. Because that's going to be in the gray. Here's a better way to come up. Maybe they, they probably got the white. They do. They, they do. got the stormtrooper white okay. out there. Okay. Yeah, okay. And then a with two tans. Yeah. What do you think, dude? You consider that tan lit? That tan, which one is that? Tan. It's definitely a brown, darker brown tan. Alright. Is it a brown or multi I would, or is it they, a green? It's called multicam olive. You know, but it, I mean it, it has says a, olive. I wouldn't I don't know if I consider that a tan. You that's why I asked you. You said it was you said it's it looked a brown. Exactly. Brown considered tan? Yeah. Tan is a broad color. It really is. Like anywhere from like that to this, anything in between is considered a tan, really. That's what we're going with anyways. Yeah. But I don't think we wrote brown on it, did we? It was just no. tan and that was like supposed to cover all your browns and tans and all that. Well, that's yeah. We'll uh, talk to the boss. Different colors out we'll, Verify that we're not cheating. We'll uh, make a fair on the competition, so we have no excuse when we win. Got two tans, a blue and a white. So well, that's good, because this okay. is dark. Now, almost to happened to black. Yeah. Probably so comp since we're doing a camo pattern. All right, so what's your guys' final colors? Uh, we have white, which is over there. We have crimson, sniper gray, and Nevesky bazooka green. All righty. And what were your guys' final colors? Uh, we picked the Troy Coyote, I think. Uh, Soap blue. I think these three. Mud brown, I think, or desert sand. Yeah. Desert sand, or sand, so, so calm, and then we both got white. Who do you think is going to win, John? I am. I'm always the winner.
What camo do you guys got again? Minicam. Yep, minicam. Minicam. So well, we got a trick for our wife. We're not going to share our secret right now because we don't want them to copy us. But we got a, I got a really good idea for this wife. I will say, we just have to use it. And how we use it, completely up to us. So it might not look light or look white by the time we're done with it. But well, we used it. We're going to use white. I'm going to mix it with some other colors so we don't have to use white. Or have white, but we'll use it. Just lighten the color up.
All right, guys, so we just wrapped up uh, episode three. Um, so I got paired with Mike today and uh, we just got our gun done. Um, we had a few problems go on, so we didn't actually quite get it done how we wanted. Um, what'd you do, Mike? In all honesty, I made the mistakes. It was not <laughs> Andrew. I forgot to put hardener in one of the, in one of the batches. So uh, remember to put your hardener in or uh, it costs you. We were gonna mask this off and do something in here in the grip, to kind of break it up a little bit. We didn't get a chance to do that, but. So he got to go spend some extra time in the sandblaster and wiping all the, the wet coating off. But overall, I mean, it's not a bad looking gun. All right, so uh, Jeremy and Chris here. Um, we ended up with green, white, sniper gray, and red. Um, we had the Predator camouflage pattern. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good. I think, um, so. I think so too. Kind of the way we uh, blended the gray and the white together and then overlaid it with green worked out pretty good. We weren't quite sure what to do with the red, so we uh, uh, stretched the rules to the maximum that John allowed. Um, there is red on the gun. It's right there in the O of the Glock, so all's fair as far as uh, as far as we were told. It works. Um, hopefully that pans out in the end. <laughs> yeah. Um, the uh, the white. You know, there's no white on the gun, but we did, we, we just mixed it with our colors. We actually used it twice and we made two different like bluish grays out of it. But uh, overall, it's decent, it's not bad, I don't think. It's different, it's yeah. got a clean look with still a little bit of pattern in it. Uh, but I'd take it. Learned a lot. I learned a lot. Yeah, it's been a, a long week. We've been at this for four days, so I'm ready to go home and go to bed. I second that. Chris? Man, I, I can't say enough about being here. This has been uh, such an, an eye-opening experience. Uh, I've learned more than than I can really say by being here. You know, it's been such a blessing to be here and try to uh, try to further my career in this, uh, learn some stuff that I didn't know, you know, and uh, shoot, these guys, they're top notch, you know, and that, that was the thing when I came down here, that was the big deal. I wanted to, uh, I want to be the best in my area, so what do you do? You try to go get trained by the best that you know of, you know? So I was like, well, hey, me. hey, don't, don't don't let him sell you short. He's good too, but uh, man, I, I, this is very, very blessed to be here and, uh, and learn from these guys. I had a great week, done a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, even some stuff I mean, that you wouldn't think that you could do. That would, that's just, it's awesome. So uh, man, I can't thank you and John and, and Andrew, everybody for allowing me to come. So that's cool, dude, for real. Uh, yeah, man, it was good working on it with you, so hey, good job. For sure. Got the PTX gun work say, out of Yeah, day. hopefully hopefully this wins me another, but we'll see. I thank y'all for watching, for sure, and y'all stay tuned. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys. I guess we got, we're filming the next three weeks. So yeah, so stay tuned, I guess. Have a good one. The episode's over. What are you still doing here? Go to the internet and order your light armor oven.